Previously, in video 6, we addressed the idea that God has designated Mount Zion in Jerusalem as a place of refuge for a pocket of worthy end-time believers to physically escape the three and a half years of the Great Tribulation. We also found that the Bible identifies these worthy believers as 144,000 men and that there will be seven women for every man for a count of 1,008,000 women, totaling 1,152,000 worthy end-time believers that will be alive on Mount Zion at the time of Christ's advent. Shalom. My name is Guy Smith, and this is the seventh video in this channel, As the Days of Noah. This gathering of the 144,000 and the daughters of Zion is based on the promises made to Israel that God is going to gather a remnant. And as representatives of the people of Israel, it is the 144,000 and the daughters of Zion which are the remnant of Israel. And it is this remnant that is predicted to return. And where is it that they're going to return from? According to the promises, God is going to gather the remnant out of all countries of the world. They will be gathered like the gathering of crops during a harvest, and they will gather together to a designated place, to gather like sheep in a pen. And where is it that they're going to return to? To a place prepared by God for those called by God, Mount Zion in Jerusalem. They are the escaped of Israel, and they are the end-time believers that will be found worthy to escape the apocalypse. By taking refuge on Mount Zion in Jerusalem for the three and a half years of the Great Tribulation, according to the promises made to Israel. Are you wondering if Gentiles have been excluded from this gathering? According to the Apostle Paul, Gentiles become Abraham's seed and equal heirs to the promises made to Israel when they accept Christ's sacrifice. This is not just a New Testament doctrine. The promise of equal inheritance was extended to the Gentiles even in the times of the Old Testament, where foreigners residing among them are to be considered as native-born Israelites and are to be allotted an inheritance among the tribes of Israel. This is who information, the second element of Bible prophecy, and these passages can be shaded green and added to the second category, leaving when as the only remaining category. Are you interested in knowing when this gathering will begin? If so, I encourage you to subscribe.